Now in this step we want to convert the grams that we have, that we have weighed, into a volume. And to do so we need to use the density of the water. So density of the water, of water, and water's density is really hugely depending on the temperature. So we assume we carried out all our experiments at 22 degrees and then the density is 0 0.9977 grams per milliliter and you can look that up in any kind of table. So now we want to convert our grams into milliliters and the easiest way to do that is we just simply divide everything with a gram 404 gram, we divide that by the density 0 0.9977 grams per milliliter. Well we see the grams cancel out, the milliliters go up there and we can do the same thing for the uncertainty so that would be 0 0.0065318 gram divided by 0 0.9977 gram per milliliter and again the gram cancel out, milliliter go up and if we put that in a calculator we get 0 0.4 zero four nine three one milliliter plus minus zero point zero zero six five four six nine milliliter and you probably ask why I do this all these uh, these figures these decimal places we will sort them out in the next step so don't worry about that and of course uh, because of these numbers I can also multiply that by a factor of thousand because that would convert it into microliters so this would give me here 404.931 microliter plus minus 6.5469 microliter for the extended uncertainty.